Hey Pisces, welcome to Black Star Tarot. Thank you guys for stopping and watching. Like and subscribe, Pisces. This is your November love reading, Pisces. So let's jump in and see what we have for you guys in love, all right? Messages for Pisces and love. So we have this could be the one. Another message is for Pisces. And that's enough. So Pisces, this could be the one. So there's somebody that you know is for you, okay? This is somebody that you literally have, you know, a really good time with, all right? So let's just, let's just get in here, all right? So I feel that um, you and somebody else may have um, a lot of chemistry, all right? We got this playful playfulness here, okay? This is uh, being fun, you know, uh, living life happily with somebody, okay? Um, there's someone here that maybe that you may find cute, so to speak, or maybe you find them cute, but there's um, an a energy here where um, I don't know if you're away from this person or you need to get away because you have this retreat card here. So it says it's time to disconnect from the world. So I feel that there's something that you may have to think about, all right? We have two people here in this card that are together. Both are, it looks like they've wed and they're, you know, going away, you know, maybe to um, a honeymoon or somewhere, but maybe going to some place where they can spend time together to relax and celebrate, you know, each other, you know, for maybe times ahead, like planning ahead, like this could be the one. So a lot of you could have met somebody that, you really enjoy, all right? Somebody you can talk to, somebody you can play with, all right? Somebody that is making you feel really good about yourself um, at this time, Pisces. So let's see what else we have here. Because this feels like a new person, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. But I do feel that you're ready to step away and do something new and playful, okay, with a particular person, okay? So it has keep an open mind. So this may not be the person that um, you're used to. All right. Maybe it's not. Maybe this person's not like the person that um, your previous person used to be. But you have this deception card here. So there's something here that I, I don't want to say that you need to step back from. But with deception here, I don't know. Maybe it's just you feeling like... Um, Maybe you're denying this person. Maybe everything is right with this new person, but maybe you're denying this person. Like I said, maybe they're not like the person you used to be with. Maybe they're just not the same, but spirit is asking you to keep, you know, an open mind. All right. Just, um, anything is possible, Pisces here. But let's see why this deception card is here. Because I see that you met someone that you enjoy. All right, but there's something that is holding you back from this person, okay? You could be being asked right now to take away, um, take a little time away, go away, uh, spend some time with this new person, but there's something that may be keeping you from it. So you could have met someone that you're enjoying right now, but you got this deception here. It says someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So are you pretending? Um, Pisces, um, it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so you could have met somebody and maybe they're not like who you used to date or maybe they're not like uh, your previous relationships, but Spirit is asking you to keep an open mind because this could be the one. Maybe you need to lighten up a little bit, all right? If you talk yourself out of relationships, then... I guess that's the end of it, <laughs> you know, if you're not willing to keep an open mind and get to know somebody new, then you're going to have a lot of struggle. So for some of you, you could, you know, I don't know what your struggle is, you know, it could be baggage, you know, it could be traumas, you know, in previous relationships, but I feel that half of you is in this and then the other half, you know, may not be. So it's like, yeah, I met this person, but I'm not so sure, you know, you could be talking to this person and trying to make it work or trying to get to know this person, but there's something with this deception card here that isn't quite right. So you could be, you know, not really allowing yourself to open up 100% and get to know this new person that you met because there's something that is um, stopping you. So let's see what else we have 
for you guys. Sorry, my cards are all out of order here. I'm going to fix this. All right, so what do we have here for, oh, man, for Pisces? So we have the hangman. So what are you waiting for, Pisces? What's holding you back? There's something here that's holding you back from this, this person that could be the one. This could be what you've been waiting for, but there's something holding you back. The hangman, which is your card, okay, is kind of, look, something, ooh, like something's, something's preventing you from moving forward. You need to surrender something. You need to let go of something with the hangman here. Because as long as you hang on to whatever it is that is on your mind or in your heart, is you're you're cheating yourself with this deception card here. But there's something here with this hangman. There's something here with this deception that you know screams out, you know, to me in this reading. All right. So either you need to let something go, surrender something, and the hangman is also a card of retreat. And you have that here twice. So you have this retreat twice. So I don't know. Maybe it's time for you to disconnect from the world and figure out what the hell it is that you actually want to do. Do you want to be with this person or not? Like, what is this? So clearly, you've met somebody that you enjoy being with. That you, you know, there's a childlike connection between you and this person. But for whatever reason, it's like you're resisting it. And I'm not quite sure why. So you could be overwhelmed because the four of swords does speak of like, you know, maybe taking some time out to really rest. Again, another card of retreat. All right. Maybe there's something you need to think about. Maybe you need to meditate on something. All right. Maybe the feelings is overwhelmed or maybe you're just not healed yet. There could be a problem here with maybe some, like I said, some past traumas or maybe relationships that were a little turbulent for you and you just haven't healed yet because the Four of Swords is a card of healing. Maybe taking some time out, retreating and really figuring out like what it is that you want to do. Are you open to new relationships and love or are you not? But Spirit says whoever this is that you're dealing with or whoever is on your mind at this time could be the one. But it's up to you if that is the case. Like, spirit's not going to, they're going to put people in your path, but it's up to you to accept this person, okay? It's completely, you know, your your choice. So I feel like you have some type of decision here um, with this, this page of swords. Now, the page of swords doesn't really um, indicate a decision, but it's kind of just what I'm feeling when I look at those two feathers on his head. But there has been a lot of communication or some communication between you and somebody else, all right? I feel that there's a lot of, uh, there are a lot of, like I said, playful energy because pages are usually young. They remind me of children. So uh, there's a very playful energy. Or again, maybe just this is just that immature energy. Um, maybe you're delaying. Uh, maybe someone's even asked you to go somewhere. I just, uh, there's a delay. I feel for something delay in here too. Like, I uh, no, I don't know. Something's holding you back. You know, you're, you're, there's an energy of being held back some type of delay in like communication because pages are like delayed news. So I feel if you are trying to make a decision about something, you may be dragging your feet at it. You may not be all gun ho Like there is some type of hesitation that I'm trying to find a way to put this into words, Pisces, because this is a very difficult uh, reading here, okay? It's very difficult, but I see your, your dilemma, all right? So we got this three of swords. Okay, so I figured that. I felt like you've maybe been, you know, hurt in the past and now that it's time for you to move on, now that you've maybe met somebody that you're interested in, you know, you're just not so sure if this is what you want, you know, at this time. There's something here that's, that is still hurting. You may still need, you know, to be healed, okay? There's still something that, you know, you need to work on in regards to, you know, love and relationship. And I think it's healing. That's what I'm kind of feeling for real, for real. All right, the Eight of Pentacles is all about work, work, work. <laughs> so you may need to work on something here, all right? There's something you need to master, all right? Before you can make a commitment to somebody else, there's something that you need to fix, all right? You need to prepare your heart, you know, a little bit better before, you know, you can move on. And if this isn't like really, you know, uh, you starting a relationship, so to speak, um, maybe it's just the thoughts of, okay, maybe it's like, look, I want to meet the one for me. However, you know, I don't want to go through what I went through before. I don't want to go through, you know, this heartache. 
don't want to do it. All right. And I, and I get that makes perfect sense, right? You don't want to put yourself through what you went through before. <clears throat> right, what else for, what else for Pisces? Ah, that's too many. All right. Let's see. Let's try that again. Pisces. I feel like you didn't hear that. All right. There we go. That's better. That's better. That's better. All right. So we have the Ace of Wands. So I think part of you is ready. All right, you're ready to go on a new adventure. You're ready to start, you know, um, something new with somebody else. But you've you've met somebody for some of you. There's potential here because the Ace of Wands is all about potential. So there's potential for this person to be the one. All right, there's a potential for you to start something new. Like there's a spark, you know. But what you need here is the willpower. Okay, so you need the will to do it. So honestly. If you're not ready, then don't bother, right? If you still have healing to do, then go get healed first before you start any relationship. I get it. This person could be the one that you met or you could be thinking about getting into another relationship. Again, it's that time of the year. People want to cuddle up. But if you still have healing to do, that's not fair to you. And it's not fair, you know, to the other person. So just, you know, make sure that you got your heart right before you um, engage in a new relationship with somebody else, whether they're the one or not, you know, whether they're the one or not, it doesn't really matter. You know, if you got to take some time out to kind of heal your yourself, you know, then so be it. All right. But you have heartache here. So you got the five of swords. So again, this could be all in your head. Okay. It says mind games and control. So you could be trying to control the outcome. Got lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be trying to control the outcome of this, right? You know, but maybe like even building yourself up. Like, look, I'm not, not going to break my heart again. I'm not going to go through this again. You know, you could be playing mind games with yourself, but it's not helping you, okay? Just because someone betrayed you in the past with this five of swords, because, you know, that's what that is, um, is some type of loss, you know, that you suffered at some point in time. It doesn't mean that you are, you've been defeated, okay? Relationships can be crazy, right? They're all filled with, you know, conflict and disagreements and things like that. But, you know, there's always an opportunity to meet a new love, okay? To meet a, a new lover and start all over again. But be healed first, right? So you're going through some type of change and transition with the death card here right now. There's something that um, you've ended and now something's coming in again for you okay missed opportunity or not all right if you were with somebody else and it didn't work out so be it okay death is here to kind of help you make that transition you know into something new to manifest something new for you so i would not be concerned about it death is one of my favorite cards because even though it brings changes you know it brings renewals and rebirth and you know it's just a understanding that you know all things must pass you know people come and go and that's just the way that it is learn and keep on moving okay look the sun is here that's all you need is to be happy you know, if it's with yourself, if it's with somebody else, the goal is for you to be happy. And you have the energy here from the universe to try to help you, like I said, transition into that. Okay, the sun is all about being fulfilled. It's about love, you know, seeing things clearly, seeing things like for what it is. Okay, being successful, you know, in your relationships, you know, recognizing what makes you happy, you know, and what does not. All right. All right, let's see what else we have for oh, yeah. Okay, so what else for Pisces? What else do we have for Pisces? So we have stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception. Um, it says a shocking attack. So I see that here twice, Pisces, with a heartache. So somebody could just not have been on the up and up with you or somebody just, just simply hurt you. All right, and it may feel like they stabbed you in the back, but if they did, it was for your higher good, right? <laughs> so that's how I look at it. Like there was always something to learn from even adverse situations, you know, in our lives. And that's just that, you know, but again, there's that defense, right? It says not today. It says not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation call, person boundaries, still angry. Yeah. I can't, I'm telling you, man, this is what I've been saying. Like, I feel like you guys still have some healing to do. 
And you could be blocking out your emotions in reference to somebody else. So knowing that you still have healing to do tells me that there's someone in your life, Pisces, that, you know, you still have some type of um, unresolved, you know, issues with. Now, I don't know if you're, if this is, if you still love this person or you're just going through the processes of slowly, you know, retreating yourself from this person, getting, you know, moving, transitioning, you know, I don't know what this is, but you know, it says not today. I do see that you're not interested in no one hurting you again. All right. Like not today, you know, there's, you know, this guy is like holding the phone away. And I felt that conversation like this with that page of swords, that communication, there is something or someone, I don't know what this is that you could be avoiding talking to or have any conversation with maybe because you're still angry. Okay. Cause that's what the card says. So you're trying to set those boundaries. Okay. So that you don't get hurt again. And that's understandable. It's really understandable. You don't want to get stabbed in the back. You don't want to go through pain. You don't want to go through separation. You just don't want to deal with any of that right now, but change is here for you. So you don't have to worry. So it says relationship evolve into the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So not all of you are in the same space, but for those of you who have met somebody, there's a new relation here that's trying to take off, okay? And I feel like this person could potentially be the one for you. But just keep in mind that there's no rush. If this, if you've met somebody new and you feel like this person could be the one, like if that's in the back of your mind, allow yourself the time to heal. Allow yourself to grow with this person. There's no rush. You don't have to rush into it. You don't have to get you know, married tomorrow, you can really take your time. Okay. So do just that, you know, this person could be the one and if they're the one, they're going to be there, you know, as you grow, as you work through, you know, whatever it is that you're going through. And then you have this success and recognition here, this emulation and growth. So I feel like, you know, things are going to work themselves out for you. Okay. So what else for Pisces? Let's get you some more messages, Pisces. I'm going to take that. So we have sucker. So you don't, you don't want to fall into the temptations that leaving, you know, that leave you feeling like you've been played or that you've been manipulated with and things like that. Like you don't want to, to be in that space again, that hurt feeling like someone just took advantage of you. Okay. Like you have yourself guarded right now. You're just like, no, I'm not going to let this happen to me. No, I'm not going to be anybody's sucker. And this isn't you, then that's them, okay? I feel like you could be with somebody who talks a good game, but I feel like never really um, follow through, all right? We have this gossip queen here, so I don't know. You could have had like somebody that was, you know, that maybe conversated a lot. We have this bird. This bird, again, is all about messages. So I don't know what type of communication you got going on here, but I do feel like if somebody's talking, it's probably you. And I feel like, you know, you're talking yourself out of this relationship because you don't want to be hurt again. And that's just how I'm feeling about this. Okay. See, was that a card? So there's an energy here again, more, more, more verbal verbalization, like speaking, um, something needing to be said. If you have to say something to someone to help um, your healing process, by all means, do so. You don't have to yell. You don't have to be nasty. You don't have to be angry. But you can be mature about it, right? We got maturity here. You can be mature about it. You can have a honest conversation expressing how you feel so that you can move on okay and and grow from this okay but if you need to speak up speak up and i do again i felt that energy a lot of communication conversation um verbalization in some way shape or form here okay so you're just you have a lot going on pisces i, I do feel like right now you're all in your thoughts I feel like you're trying to look at things from, you know, a bigger picture, like what is going on? Like, what do I do? You know, how do I make this transition? So it's okay, you know, to submerge yourself like in your mind, right? Because that's, that's part of you, you know, your imagination, you know, your thoughts, you know, it's, it's just part of you. So think about 
you know, what it is that you want and that you don't want, but don't suppress it, right? Don't become submerged in your feelings, your anger, your regrets and things like that. Like don't, don't submerge yourself in negativity. Let that shit go. Speak up, say what you got to say, you know, be mature um, in all of your dealings with yourself and people. Okay. Because this is just part of the experience. There's no reason for you to feel that you have to be angry or tempted to, you know, take out your frust your past frustrations on everybody else. You know, that's not necessary. Like free your spirit, you know, from whatever it is right now that has you still hurt and in need of healing. All right, what else for Pisces? I'm not taking that card because it's just on the top and I need to shuffle. What else for Pisces? So I think you, there's some healing that you still need, okay? You got an offer coming in here, all right? So whether this is you offering something to someone or someone offering something to you, there's something that you want to um, to say. Like this knight is coming in with this coin because there's, there's something, that, there's news, okay? There's some type of progress that, you know, wants to, to be played out here. So I do feel like there's something that you may want to you know, move forward with like slow and steady. Okay. When it comes to healing, slow and steady, when it comes to this new relationship, you know, just be practical and mature about your actions and your decisions. And in time, I feel that things are going to um, get a lot better, right? That success and that victory is here. All right. So you got decisions, you got the two of wands. So, you know, do what you feel is right. All right. Um, the two of uh, wands is all about like the first steps or the first stages towards something. First steps, you know, towards progress. The first steps towards planning, okay? It's taking, you know, this path or that path. Go this way or that way. But at the end of the day, it's all about, you know, decisions, decisions, okay? And endings. It's all about decisions and endings. You know, I think, you know, you've had enough of this five of pentacles energy. You know, you want to start some type of new connection, um, some type of new uh, experience with somebody. The Two of Cups is a new friendship. It's a new partnerships where there's mutual attraction, where there's a connection. The Two of Cups is also the card of reconciling. So reconcile all of the things that you feel, you know, you need to heal or the emotions and the feelings that may have hurt you. Like reconcile them so that you can move on and build a new friendship or build a new love or union you know with someone else pisces um that is needed for you okay you never know what's hidden out there in the universe okay because we got this uh high priestess card like you never know what the universe has for you but if you are in a place where you know you just i don't know i don't know i'm not sure if i should do this you're just saying to yourself staying silent you know just really turning off the world then it's probably going to be a crazy place inside, all right? So, Pisces, this is what I have for you. Um, thank you guys for listening, and I will see you in the next video.